Hey, welcome to our video today. My name is Derek Hubbard, Certified Financial Planner. Glad you have joined us. Now, there are two primary risks that a retiree has that they're able to mitigate through the use of insurance premiums. And those two risks are the premature death of a spouse and a long-term care event that may occur. Now, in regard to the life insurance through premature death, the most popular way of covering that is through life insurance. But the long-term care risk, that's only more recently been in the spotlight due to the increasing life expectancies that we're experiencing. The actual likelihood of needing some form of long-term care during your life, if you're a healthy 65-year-old, is going to be uh, above 60% likelihood. But unfortunately, there are a lot fewer and fewer companies that are selling long-term care insurance, especially in the state of California, where I live. And there are much fewer, there are fewer and fewer consumers that are actually purchasing it because of the actual cost of it. But that long-term care event and the catastrophic nature of having that occur in retirement, it still remains a critical risk. But the insurance industry is innovating to solve some of these challenges and some of these problems. More recently, uh, life insurance companies have done what is a hybrid life insurance, or they're combining in order to cover both the premature death risk with the long-term care risk. So these hybrid life insurance policies, what they do is they provide to a surviving spouse a death benefit in the event that the owner predeceases the other spouse. And if you think about that, in that case, a lot of times there's a subsequent loss of income to that surviving spouse. They're going to lose a social security check. Sometimes they'll lose a portion of a pension check. And so these hybrid life insurance policies also provide, in addition to that surviving spouse death benefit to replace that income that gets lost, they also provide the potential for long-term care benefits during the owner's lifetime because they're drawing from the life insurance death benefit while that owner is actually still alive and in need of long-term care. So you're essentially being able to kill two birds with one stone, and it can be an extremely powerful tool for retirees. One advantage of this structure of the hybrid life insurance is that it eliminates the whole use or lose nature of both life insurance and long-term care insurance. What do I mean by that? Well, the life insurance policy is permanent. And so we, the, as the premium payer, you have that confidence of knowing that you're going to get those insurance premiums back through the eventual death benefit that occurs. But you're also going to have the confidence of knowing that if a long-term care event actually occurs, that you're not at the mercy of having to pay ongoing life insurance uh, or long-term care insurance uh, premiums in this particular case. Another instance of an advantage as it relates to these hybrid policies is that there's real flexibility in the premiums. Policies can actually be designed for uh, premium payments uh, all throughout the, the owner's life. It can be designed uh, to pay premiums only during a limited period of years, or you can even design it in a way to pay the premium one time. In other words, just a single premium in order to make the coverage. And some companies have even designed it to be able to make payments, the single payment out of an IRA account. So a lot of things are happening within the insurance world. A lot of innovation and creativity is occurring. If you have both the need for survivorship life insurance, in, in other words, that loss of an income due to social security or a pension, 
and also the potential need for long-term care coverage, you might want to look at a hybrid policy that covers both of those risks.